Hey guys, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations and I want to share my latest project with you guys. This is a 6 inch by 8 inch mini album and I made it using the contents of the Craftology box from CountryCraftCreations.com for the month of May. So this is the collection that came in the kit. It was Simple Stories Domestic Bliss and it was an adorable collection and I loved working with it. Of course, I love simple stories, period, anyway. Um, so on the front here, what I've done is I have mounted this uh, cut apart on this. This was actually a card that I cut, um, cut apart. Or was it an envelope? It was an envelope. I cut the envelope um, apart and mounted this card on the top because um, I thought I loved the colors really coordinated together. I did some enamel dots here and then the... The um, kit came with these cute Petaloo butterflies, so I have a couple here on my front cover. Um, the, the spine, the spine is a two and a quarter inch spine, and you have some chipboard letters that spell out the word home and a couple of the design papers layered together. And then there's the back. On the inside, on the front cover, I have a belly band that I've mounted a cut apart on the top and some enamel dots. I have uh, mounted all the stickers on cardstock and cut around them, and I've put one here. Inside the belly band, um, again, like I said, the, the kit comes with cards and envelopes. So since I don't make cards, I included those items within the album. So here's just an envelope that I sealed and I cut off the side to make a pocket. And then I, I put some cardstock. And that I had in my stash. This is navy on the front and the back so you could put pictures there and then just layered some stickers on both sides. On the inside I just did these really cute um, photo mats that would hold three by four photos. So there's a cut apart, some stickers layered there and then you would put your photo just right behind that little clock so cute. So I have three of those. This one, there's a chipboard sticker on this one. And then there's the back. It says the struggle is real. And this is my favorite one. It's got the little house with the, the chipboard flowers and it says bless this mess. And on the back you have the little typewriter. So super cute. And I do kind of layer these in here so it doesn't get too bulky. And that goes right in there. So on this side, um, I've taken, um, I made some of my, my inserts where you could pull them out, and this is one. So I did make this card and put the cut apart on the top, some enamel dots and some stickers. And then there's that cute paper. You could put a 4x6 photo here as well. I left them all blank on the inside. So turn it over and you have two four and a quarter by four and a quarter flaps, and they flip this way, and you have this really cute, um, a little plant paper there that I love. On this side, another chipboard sticker, and for all of my chipboard stickers, I always peel several layers off the back of them so they don't make my album so bulky. Because um, <clears throat> I really love using them, I just don't like the bulk that they add, so that really helps to keep that bulk down. And this is just a um, sticker from the collection. And then again, another cut apart that I just made into a photo mat. And this one is another one of those envelopes that I sealed and cut the end off to make it a pocket. And then I backed both uh, sides with cardstock. This one I put a cut apart, some stickers that I had mounted on cardstock. And then on the inside, you have these really cute cut aparts. And that tucks her right back in there. This is eight pages, um, so it's not a small album. <laughs> so this is another one of those pullouts here where you could put um, probably three or even four if you chose to put a photo on the very front, four by six photos. And um, this is um, a cut apart and some enamel dots there. Again, I did a belly band here. These are some stickers from the collection. We had these adorable um, hanger, I won't take that one off, um, paper clips that came in our kit and I loved them. 
just some enamel dots, another cut apart, and then I made these little booklets out of Stampin' Up! cardstock that coordinated with the collection. And then on some of the pages, not all of them, I made these five and a quarter by seven and a quarter photo mats. You could put them in every page, but I only did like three of them since I had all the other pullouts. The tabs I used, I got from the sticker sheet from the collection. So on this side, I just did a tuck spot with these plants here that came from the sticker sheet, more enamel dots, and then just some cut aparts. That's my favorite one because my husband never puts his laundry away. I think that's hilarious. Right here, again, another pullout where you could put several photos there. Just did some seam binding, cut apart, and um, an enamel dot for the doorknob. And then the house paper I love turn it over and this one is actually an attached flap so this one doesn't pull out so this is again another cut apart some design paper on the other side and then one of those cute um, I could pull this one off easier maybe doesn't want to come off those cute little can you see that little hangers just adorable here and again the kit also came with these other cute little paper clips these are stickers from the collection um, as well as the stopper down here and again just another booklet that I left blank and then that cute paper on the bottom and then these are all blank on the inside right here I have a seam binding holding down this flap this is a cut apart from the collection and this pulls out and you could put two photos here and then two photos right there and then there's that border sticker from the sticker collection on this side this was the card that came um, with the envelope that I cut open and used on the front cover so really beautiful card it's got like a shimmery kind of feel to it and I just took the cut apart mounted on some navy cardstock and then added these enamel dots throughout and stuck one of those cute paper clips at the top. On um, this side, I just have a pocket, some enamel dots again, another cute paper clip, and then just various cut aparts that I made into photo mats. Again, this was a card that came um, in the kit that I just made into a little flap. Um, a cut apart from the collection with more of those enamel dots on it. Um, a strip of uh, paper and then a chit chat sticker. It says Home Sweet Home. And that cute flower paper. And then here I just left this open because I love hearts and I thought it was cute. On this side, I did a sticker, and these are some chipboard stickers, some seam binding, another little paper clip here, and on the inside, I did um, a 4x4 cut apart and added a little chipboard sticker. This was one of the cards that came in the kit, so I just cut down a cut apart to fit this um, card, and then put a couple of photo mats on the inside. Whoops. And again... Here's another one of those pullouts. On this side, this one does pull out. That cute house paper. And right here, um, just a 4x4 cut apart with some um, paper and then um, stickers from the collection. And then here, I did a pocket on the back, another paper clip, a sticker from the collection. This was a cut apart that I cut to fit here chipboard stickers and then on the inside of the pocket I made this photo mat with a 4x4 cut apart so you could stick a 4x4 and a 4x6 on the inside and then a 4x6 on the back and then more um, just plain photo mats thought there was more than one but I guess not and that's it this is a super fast, super easy project, and there is a tutorial on my channel, so click the link below to check that out. Thanks for watching.